Welcome back to Schlocktoberfest here on World Class Bullshitters. I'm your host, Jeff Hicks, and tonight with me is the last standing Samoan pirate, Nick Udom. Um, I don't know what's going on anymore. Well, so fucking I guess, tired. I guess a life, at, <laughs> a life at sea just fucks you over like that. Yeah, it does. It does. It's raping and pillaging. Well, it's, it's pillaging then raping. It's always it's always pillaging then raping. Never raping then pillaging. That's just, oh. you can't you you can't pillage. You, you, it just doesn't work out that way. It just doesn't. Well, you can't pillage on an empty ball sack. I understand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you got to be a little bit light. You got you know, you got to be light in your feet. So it's it's whatever. <laughs> Well, we are back on Schlocktoberfest with a list. It's a funny list. It's a list of some of the worst horror films ever. Last week we uh, shit all over Rob Zombie, and that was pretty successful. So today we're back with uh, some more schlock. So Nick, you prepared a list of some of the absolute worst that horror has to offer, and we're going to present this list to our listeners. Now listeners, take note. If you like any of these films, it's understood that you have bad taste, but we still love you. (laughs) Yeah, just just don't tell us or talk to us in public about them because we will, you know, tell you otherwise. But if you want to tell us how uh, bad your taste in horror movies are, shoot us an email at worldclassbs at mail dot com, the best mail dot com, and uh, use the header Schlocktoberfest, and we'll read it at some point. <laughs> yeah, also also hit us up on Twitter. Uh, we we need we need more followers, more uh, more shares, um, just in general, really. So hit us up on Twitter. We got our social media baron raising the numbers from like fifty to almost two thousand in a couple weeks. So Nick, good is, job, is that man. where we are? Yeah, we're at uh, one thousand ninety-five. Yeah, that's pretty awesome from where we were. Mm-hmm. So anyway, on with tonight's list. Nick, read us the first film on the list of the absolute worst horror films. <sighs> uh, let's see this one. Oh, oh, oh damn! Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm scared. Mm-hmm. Zombievers. Wow, I watched that on Netflix. <laughs> yeah, that was a shitty, shitty, horrible fucking movie. Like, the poster, and the tra- I remember watching the poster, I remember looking at the poster and watching the trailer, and I was like, oh, this is going to be a weird concept. It may actually uh, work. But it didn't. It failed fucking horribly. No, it did not work. And, you know, because I was, I, was genu- I was genuinely excited for it, and I genuinely wanted to watch it. And it, it never came out on Netflix in time, and... Um, it was never at Redbox in time, so I was just like, fuck it, I'll download it illegally and watch it, and I'm glad I did, because, holy shit. I don't know what to say about this movie. Somebody that wasn't you suggested I watch it, and, uh, well, needless to say, I don't talk to that person anymore. Well, that's, that's a good reason, you know, I, I understand that entirely, because this is just, it's just so bad. I mean, you, you have, it's, it's, it seems to be the typical, like, teenage slasher movie, you know, that's gonna go happen, and then you, you have, like, you know, uh, chemicals from this, uh, company that spill into, um, into the water, and the zombies, you know, I mean, sorry, the beavers become zombies, and become crazy, and start, you know, craving human flesh. And uh, the, the thing I hated about this more than anything is that when people got when people got killed or bitten by them, they didn't turn into zombies. They turned into beaver esque zombies. Like they 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 mutated into a dead human slash beaver thing, and it just didn't make any fucking sense. And I hated that so much. Uh, I just try to block this one out. This is a film that. <sighs> It was a waste of a Saturday afternoon, and I could have done literally anything else and enjoyed it more. I could have listened to a Kenny G album, I could have taken a shit, I could have watched paint dry or converse with my neighbors, you know? Either way, it would have been a better time than (laughs) Zombievers. I really feel like that needs to be on the next Blu-ray box. Uh, I could have literally done anything else and found more enjoyment in it. World-class bullshitters. Yeah, I I agree, man. It is not good. I I mean, they did a good job in wanting you to watch it, but that's about where it ends. Like, it's just bad. Ugh. So what's next on this list? Next is Ouija, or Ouija, whatever the how the hell ever you want to say that, or spell it, or whatever. Um, this movie is fucking horrible. Because, um, <clears throat> let's see, it came out in 2014. It is, it is, it's just a bunch of kids that you don't know, first-time actors, right out the gate, uh, you know, whichever company made it didn't care about who they were and their fucking story, because the budget of the movie was $5 million dollars. Yep, the budget of the movie was $5 million, and it, and it was also made by Hasbro. Who makes the Ouija board? I was about to say, doesn't Hasbro have a bigger fucking uh, 
budget than that. I'm sure it costs more than that to develop a couple Star Wars toys. Why not make a real movie that's not gonna, you know, uh, suck it, dick? Well, because all you know, this was five. This was five million dollars. I had to beg for, you know, because all the all the rest of the money was on Transformers. So that's where <laughs> this is. I think this is the pennies that they collected over the years of the Transformers. Movies. Like we have five million dollars, we can make something else. We'll pick another toy. The Ouija board, sure, why not? <laughs> I'm trying to think of another toy line that would make a better film. Uh, oh, yeah, anything. <laughs> I would have actually rather watched a film that's just two hours of staring at a Ouija board. Like, that would at least be fun. <laughs> well, I mean, like, these... <sighs> The, these kids, you don't... Like, they, they don't... You don't know their backstory. You don't know anything about them. You know nothing about them. You don't really care for them either. You just see, like, in the very beginning, like, a girl dies. And uh, then her friend comes through, and she, she's like, "Oh, she had a Ouija board. Oh, okay, cool." And then you know starts messing with it and finds out if you look through the planchette or the thing that you know you put your hands on, um, that you know you'll see the spirits or whatever the fuck, even though it's made of wood and plastic or plastic and plastic. Somehow you see spirits through it. I don't fucking know how that works. What the fuck are you doing, Hasbro? What are you doing? If anything, you should see the uh, spirits of all the dinosaurs that were turned into oil, and that oil that was turned into plastic. Now, that would make a fucking... <laughs> o- Zombie dinosaur ghosts. How fucking uh, awesome can we do would that? that be? Well, no, they, they've done, they've done um, Ghost Shark before. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it sounds so bad now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ghost Shark is a movie that exists. Just so you know, like they had it. It was, it was, uh, it was a few years ago. I think it was during um, Sharknado Two or when One came out when they had the big like shark exploitation era that happened, and um, they had like sh- they had like lava shark, they had ghost shark, they had snow shark, they had sand shark, um, and then they had ghost shark. What about the something versus Megalodon versus Mecha Shark or something? Oh, that one. Oh man, jeez. I've literally yeah. seen none of the films that you've just said. <laughs> I've I've watched a few of them and I regret a lot of it. I mean, I, I it's one of those times like I wish I was severely severely blackout drunk for so I wouldn't remember it, but that's unfortunate. I never was. Um, I it, would like a dollar for every hour of your life you've wasted on a shitty movie. God, you'd be a millionaire by now. Woo! <laughs> It would be really bad. It is fucking horrible. I spent a lot of time on shitty movies just because I have hope for them. I have hope for horror and the genre, and hopefully, you know, it 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 doesn't get better. But just it just, I want better things in the genre than what we have now. Well, we're stuck in the era of shitty paranormal films, and there's no slashers anymore. And every once in a while, you get something good. Like what was that? Uh, the blind the blind guy movie. The blind guy movie. Oh, um, don't what is it? Don't breathe. Yeah, don't breathe. Yeah, that was a hit. It was. It was. And I mean, um, and I'm sure the uh, the budget for that. Let me look at that actually. So the budget was uh, what was for that. It was like talk. number one for three weeks in a, yeah, three weeks in a row. So I mean, let's see. Oh, the budget was ten million. And it made. So yeah, it made 140, 141 million. Let's say. It's a great fucking return. Yeah. Um, well, I mean, you, you, you want to talk about a great fucking return? Here's another one that I'm going to mention right now. Go right into the next one. Um, Unfriended. I never saw that one. Oh, you're so lucky. Unf- Unfriended. Unfriended is an MTV movie, I want to say. No, it's not. Not an MTV movie, sorry. Uh, it was just, their trailer was all over, all over fucking MTV. So, what it is is that... <laughs> These, uh, it's you know, it's it's all about now and the digital age and phones and cameras and internet and Facebook, blah, whatever. And uh, like, th- there's video of this girl that's you know of 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 her of her drunk and passed out and she's shat herself. There's shit in her like pants you can see. Ugh. You know, and it that's the video, and they release it all over school, and you know she gets uh, you know made fun of, whatever you know. It's like, ha, oh, you're you shit on yourself at a party when you were so, you know passed out drunk, whatever. And then there's another little uh, movie, uh, sorry, a little video of her where she shoots herself in the head. But it's it's it you, it's not really it's not gruesome. It's just really far off, and you can kind of like the gunshot and the head moving back real quick, like you know what it is. It's not like super gruesome. There, it, she's like. 30 feet away, and that's the video. But it's still, like, pretty damn bad. Um, so then, like, the, these kids are talking on Skype. 
face to face, and there's like one friend that um, that's in there that they can't they can't get out of and they can't get away from, and apparently that friend is the ghost of this girl on Skype. Uh, okay. <laughs> yes, and um, it's it's supposed to be like a found footage supernatural movie, but it's just like a Skype screen for ninety minutes. That's all it is. <laughs> I shoot you not. It, it is a Skype screen for ninety minutes. I feel like we could make that movie. I feel like I can make that movie with some makeup and wigs. Sure, I'll I'll play seven different roles. <laughs> you know, and and like the way the kids kill themselves, like they like they inflicted like pain onto themselves, like that's how they got killed. Really? Hmm. Let's move on because this movie's just pissing me off that it exactly. Because I because because I shoot you not one of the kids you know he's like you know, come at me bro come at me like in that kind of fashion, and uh, the next thing you see is like you know the lights are blinking and he's got his hand in a blender. You know uh, it's just it was just like what is this? All right, sure, okay. And here's the thing that's gonna piss you off even more: the budget for this movie was a million dollars, roughly. Wow. It made sixty four point one million dollars. <laughs> It's made its money back like Thursday afternoon. <sighs> Me fucking stupid people that went to go see it. You know what? I got we get a lot of comments on the show that are like, hey, I liked that movie or what you guys said isn't what I agree with. Well, let's find ten unfriended fans that listen to this show. You can't do it. Well, and here's something that's gonna piss you off even more, they're doing a sequel. Well, I'm done with tonight's episode. See you tomorrow. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> Nick, you're just breaking my goddamn heart, dude. Oh god, horror these days is breaking my goddamn heart, dude. Let me tell you. Oh, uh, and 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 I, uh, you know, I'm 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 gonna go. For, let, let, let's do another one. Let's go to the gallows. I the saw gallows. this in theaters. This was a piece of shit. Yeah, I I did not see this in theaters. I want I you know once again, um, the trailer looked good. Um, I thought it was gonna be a proper movie, and then I watched it, and I didn't know what the fuck it was. Dan and I went and saw it on a Sunday afternoon after we were doing something, and we we're like, "Oh, this could be cool," and it wasn't. Because it, it wanted to be so many things, and it just wasn't anything, and that was the problem. It wasn't Paranormal Activity. It wasn't Chronicle. It wasn't good. Yeah, and it was, it was, um, it was just really, really bad. Because it wanted to be found footage. It wanted to be a ghost paranormal movie. It wanted to be a, a slasher movie. It wanted to be a revenge flick. Um, you know, it wanted to be all these things, and it was nothing in the end. I mean, even the ending was fucking horrible. <laughs> yeah, the fucking girl's dad that got hanged at the show had the baby with the girl in the play, and then he's possessed them or some other dumb shit. Yeah, I oh man, um, like it, it it reached a point where it was just like all right, I don't I don't, I don't like this, I can't do this anymore. I'm sort of watching until it ends to see how it ends, and it ended horribly. And um, the budget was a hundred thousand dollars. The gallows? Yeah, one hundred thousand dollars. The box office was the box office it made was forty three million. Jesus Christ! Yeah, that's up there with paranormal activity. Yeah, Paranormal Activity, I think, was like fifteen or 20000 and it made, pff, I don't know, a couple hundred million. God, I wish I was fucking Oren Pelly. Not fucking him, literally, but like, you know, I wish I was him. Because, man, I'd be set. Yeah. Because, I mean, like, it, and, and uh, it seems like they spent a lot, of, a lot of money on effects and camera stuff as opposed to actors. Because it's, it's once again, a bunch of no-names that nobody cares about, and they paid them, I'm sure, like like, day rate or whatever the hell it is, and filmed in, like, two weeks, and just filmed in the rest with, like, found footage and voiceover. Well, Kathy Lee Gifford's daughter is the cute blonde. That doesn't help the movie at all. Oh, no, I'm just saying, though, <laughs> so it's not like she needs the money. No, she doesn't. She doesn't need it at all. This is more like an exposure movie. It's like, yeah, I'm gonna make a movie. Well, there wasn't any exposure. That's, that's another problem. There were no tits in this movie either. <laughs> I see what you did there. <laughs> Do you want to hear something weird? This movie came out in Indonesia before I think it came out in America. What? Oh god, it did. So that they should have just kept it there. Yep, just let the Indonesians take it. That's fine. This movie has a four point two out of ten rating on IMDb. Oh god. Like, 
I'm trying to think of a shittier horror movie I've ever seen in theaters. I mean, I didn't see the original Blair Witch in theaters, and you know how I feel about that movie. Yeah. Uh, I've... Hold on. What was that one, something as evil does or something, that came out in 2014? Oh, 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 I know what you're talking about. Um, The Devil's Do. Yeah, I think I saw that in theaters. Yeah, I saw that too. That was another, that was another found footage movie that uh, failed fucking horribly. Oh, man. Like, once, like this one is not even... Um, the trailer wasn't even good. It was just like, oh, okay. This is how this works. So this is what you're doing. And... You know, they. it's basically about this couple who goes to the Dominican Republic for their honeymoon, and they drink too much, and they meet some people, and they get put into a van, and I don't know how it gets filmed, but, like, apparently they film some weird ritual, and the wife all of a sudden is pregnant, like, the next the next week or something. So and, they pretty much ripped off Rosemary's Baby? Yeah, they made Rosemary's Baby, but, like, the really cheap fucking way for $7 million. Mmm. <laughs> Just for the record, the movie I was thinking of is Deliver Us from Evil. With Eric Deliver Hanna. Us from Evil. Yes, not to be confused with Deliver Us from Eva, the early 2000s film starring, I think it was Gabrielle Union as a bitch. Yeah. Did you did you like Deliver Us from Evil? Uh, I saw it with Joel, and I thought it was alright back then. I liked the the ending. Yeah, that one like that one I really liked. That one was actually a proper movie. I really enjoyed that one. Um, that one was really good. But we're not here to talk about movies that are good or okay. We're here to talk about shit. Because if we were talking about movies that are just okay, uh, we'd be here all fucking day. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> like, let's talk about Star Wars Episode Three. That movie was just okay. <laughs> but speaking of... I got one real quick for you. That okay, was a yeah, shit yeah, movie. Come on. See No Evil. See No Evil. Oh, wait. With wait. I... Oh. I saw this movie uh, the first weekend, or the second weekend it came out in theaters, way back in 2000. Six. Six? Yeah, <laughs> fuck. I saw this because, look, it, it's a it's a, a movie with a wrestler in it. I like wrestling. And uh, I went to support the WWE, and this movie absolutely fucking sucked. The only thing I remember from it, besides hating it, was the part where um, this girl gets a cell phone shoved down her throat and then gets a phone call. <laughs> like, that's it. <laughs> oh, my God. Now, did you see part two of this? I refuse to. Okay. Because I think uh, the Soska sisters did part two. <laughs> well, I'm not going to say anything mean about them because they're nice ladies that retweet us. Very true. They are super, super nice ladies. And their show, I think, is on... Um, is on is, has started, actually. The uh, elevator has started. So if anybody wants to go check that out on Game Show Network or on Hulu or wherever you can, definitely watch Elevator. It's a lot of fun. It is uh, worth your time. And you can go over to the World Class Bullshitters channel and listen to our review of Season 1 of Elevator. We fucking love it. Yes, we do. <laughs> so what else you got, Nick? Okay. Um, let's see here. Oh, so speaking of uh, Blair Witch Project, uh, Blair Witch 2 Book of Shadows. I saw this one time. Never again. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> there was no book and there were no shadows. Um, <laughs> just a lot of ugly people. Yeah, just, just a lot of ugly people. Oh, man. It, 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 this movie was just... Literally, this movie was it just had the name on it just so they could make money off of it. Because everyone was like, oh, shit, part two, it's going to be awesome. No. It wasn't. Not even a little bit. See, I went in... I didn't, okay, I saw this years, years, years. It might have been on Netflix at one point in time, but I know I've seen this movie at least once. I saw the first Blair Witch when it came out on video, and then I saw this probably, the second one, within the last three or four years. And man, for me to actually say the original Blair Witch is better than something, I'm saying a lot. Yeah, because, oh man. Yeah, this one was literally like a money grab. That's exactly what it was. It was a straight-up money grab. Uh, they didn't care about anything in it. I'm sure somebody wrote a script or something else. They're just like, oh, just mention these things and have these, and sprinkle these elements all over the place, and it'll be part two. How about the book? Fuck the book. We're just, we're just calling it Book of Shadows. There's not going to be any book. Fuck it. No, no book. It's just uh, as, it's like the late 90s horror films that spawned after Scream. You got your I Know You Did Last Summer, which we reviewed drunkenly. Mm -hmm. and then you got this kind of movie. You got The Faculty, which is good. But they're all these, God. like, pretty people in 
not that scary <laughs> scenarios. Yeah, it's just, it's 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 just pretty people who are in their thirties acting like they're in their acting like they're in their in their teens, and um, you know they're they're trying to act because they've been on TV for ten years and they can't do it. Well, thank God for Jeffrey Donovan's return uh, in Burn Notice because that's a career defining role. Yeah, um, <laughs> I'm glad he was able to shake this off and do something uh, amazing. It only took seven years. <sighs> well, good good things take time. Good things. Take time. <laughs> Unlike this fucking movie, holy oh, shit! It's a it's a waste of ninety minutes. No, it's basically a bunch of tourists who go to where the movie where the movie was supposedly filmed, and they spend the night there, and you know, then then shit goes crazy. They wake up and everything's ripped up, but somehow they're still able to you know go back to the car and go back to dude's house and um, be okay until like shit, until start seeing things and hallucinating and you know, whatever. I don't fucking care. They should have just made the one that came out this year as a sequel ten years ago. Yeah, because the one that came out this year was solid. I, I really liked it and I mean, it was, it was on point. Also, we reviewed that the day it came out, so if you'd like to hear our more in-depth analysis, make sure to check that out on the channel. And yeah, I thought it was solid too, man. I I go out to try to support all the horror movies, with the exception of that new Ouija movie. I refuse to see that one. No, because like I I love how like the first one came out, and then all of a sudden they're doing a prequel to the to the to the first one. It's like no, you do that as your third or fourth movie. You don't fucking do that. I just don't see the purpose of a. Uh, it looks retarded. I hate that kid actor. I don't like. I don't know. I've seen the trailer about 13 times. Because when yeah. I went to see The Purge Anarchy, I saw the trailer. And then I've seen it a bunch of other times. It, was, it just looks so dumb. Yeah, and I mean, this is one of those things where they're they're concentrating on one item of said paranormal stuff. And, you know, they're like, oh, this one thing will be will be cool. We'll just make a movie about this one thing. You know, and uh, that's that's what we're doing. One thing, movies now. Blah. The funny thing is, is that they did. We there were there were two Ouija movies on Hulu before the first one even came out. I saw the one that's on Netflix or was on Netflix. Yeah, and it was it was really shitty. And then the, like they did part two of it, where you know it's just like they're presenting their movie to uh, you know like a film festival, and the, there's the actors sitting there, and then they all get like you know fucking um, killed off slowly. It's like nobody nobody cares. Now, that was the one with the black guy that was fucking the Asian girl, right? He was yeah. Really cheating on her. Yeah. That movie was like on a scale of one to ten. It was a solid five. It was just okay. Yeah, I mean, if if you had friends over and you had some drinks and you're like, dude, let's watch something like funny and weird. Like that's what you put on. That film is the definition of Netflix and chill. You could put that on, and then you and your lady could uh, do whatever, and it's not scary enough to detract you from getting it on, but it's boring enough to make you want to fuck each other. <laughs> so, uh, guys, girls, if you're out there with your significant other and you're trying to get laid, watch Ouija, not the Hasbro version, but the uh, the other version, the independent version, the independent version. You might get a boner or wet. I don't. I know how bodies work, but I don't know who's going to be the, doing the initiation. So, enjoy it and and think of me. Think of my voice and think of all the fucked up shit I say on this podcast. Yes, yes. When you're when you're fucking your significant uh, another uh, significant other, think of Jeff. Yeah, please do because Jeff's thinking of you. <laughs> <laughs> Hell, I might be watching you. <laughs> <laughs> not creepy at all. <laughs> oh, it's not. I'll bring I'll bring snacks and uh, Gatorade so you guys can go marathon style. <laughs> Oh, completely on, <laughs> off topic. I was at the fucking store today, and this really large woman was feeding her kid like Gatorade and shit. And I'm like, wow, that's good parroting. That'll you know, that'll get you right there where you want your kid to be. Morbidly obese at twelve. <laughs> God. Uh. Sorry, I, I'm. A, this is a list of horror movies. Horror, horrible horror movies, not horrible parents. So, continue on, Maestro. All right, since we're talking about uh, one item movies, let's go to Annabelle. Yeah. Annabelle was a spinoff of the Conjuring, the first Conjuring movie, and you know they were like, oh, since you know people, people since we had the doll and it, people, you know, it was an icon in that movie, and you know, it, it, because it was, I think it was, um, what was it? It was the Warrens had it in the Conjuring, and they kept saying, oh, it's you know demonic, it's bad, don't touch it, don't whatever, and it got out in the movie, and then they were like, oh, we'll make a whole movie about Annabelle, and it was fucking horrible. <laughs> <laughs> I never saw it, but aren't they making a sequel? 
Um, I think they are. Let's see here. Yeah, they are. Oh, God. <laughs> Slated for May 19th of next year? Oh, God, that'll be the fucking 11th anniversary of See No Evil. Oh, my God. I'm not yeah. going to see it. Yeah. Uh, once again, to piss you off, uh, budget $6.5 million, box office $257 million. Fuck. Yeah. I don't look at Annabelle and get scared or nervous. It's just like an ugly girl. That's all I look at and go, oh. Well, here's the thing. Like I've seen the real Annabelle doll because they used they post they post pictures about it when as soon as like it was a thing, and it's not it's not it's no it's nowhere near menacing as like this one looks. Like the one that they show is literally just like a Cabbage Patch doll. It's a Raggedy Ann doll. Or yeah, whatever. yeah. It's like it's like a Raggedy Ann doll. Like it's really funny. And then they've made this one with like this plastic face and this little grimace smile or whatever on it. And this is like that's not even fucking close. <laughs> I'm looking at pictures of it right now. Fuck. See, that's the kind of horror I hate. I like genuinely, like, cerebral horror. Kind of like the original Halloween or Psycho. Shit like that. I want to be scared. I don't want to laugh at a horror movie like, Oh, the doll's head spun around slowly and it cried blood. (laughs) I swear to God, people that get scared of this shit are the same people that get scared of paranormal activity. And there's the people that, you know think ketchup is too spicy for you it's like speaking of ketchup hold on i have a really good story about that um i would for, for two years when me and my brother were growing up I, I i convinced my brother that ketchup was blood yeah my, you're a good guy yeah <laughs> my mom hated me a lot <laughs> but the, i convincingly convinced him that it was like it's blood this is what it is and he just didn't have it for two years <laughs> I bet your brother hates you secretly. He's like, every time he eats a hot dog, he's like, fuck you, Nick. Six blood. <laughs> if I ever see him again, I'm going to, like, eat something and be like, oh, man, this is good. So bloody good. He'll get so upset. <laughs> I'm sure he will. I'm sure he will. <clears throat> yeah, but Annabelle's shit, and uh, we're moving on. Um, I'm going to, let's see, let's... Uh, Fright Night... The remake. I Friday saw that in remake. theaters. Oh, man. Like, I am a giant, giant fan of the original. Um, I have the poster signed by everybody who's currently alive. And uh, I I love that movie so much. I really do. It's such a good movie. Well put together. Well, well thought out. Well written. The characters are amazing. It's directed by Tom Holland. But we're not going to talk about the good one. We're going to talk about the shitty one. Um, <clears throat> I, I, I didn't like it. I mean, I... I the kid that's in it, the, the Russian kid who died recently, like, I I like him. He's really good. Anton Yeltsin? Yeah. But, <clears throat> just, like, doing this, like, uh, this um, Twilight fucking um, Colin Farrell thing was dumb. Because he looks, he looks like Edward Collins grown up and, like, moved into a nice neighborhood and it's trying to like suck suck on all the milfs that's what it, that's what exactly it looks like yeah <clears throat> and as soon as the movie starts uh you have fucking what was his name christopher mint uh oh, mclovin mclovin yeah he's like he's like hey charlie there's a vampire killing people it's like what we're five minutes in why are you what wh- huh no this is not how this works I would just like to say real quick for the record, I didn't see this in theaters if I said that. I actually watched this on YouTube. Good and, for uh, you. Good for you. I, I, yeah, that's all. I, I just wanted to put that out there. Anyway, continue, sir. Yeah, I mean, even even the crucial element of fucking um, Peter Vincent was fucked up. David Tennant was a magician. Okay, this movie takes place in, in Las Vegas and, you know, where people, whatever. And uh, Peter Vincent is a magician that works in Vegas. <clears throat> and um, Charlie uh, goes to him and, you know, is like, oh, I got a vampire, this, that, and the other, you know, help me out. Which is dumb. So fucking dumb. <clears throat> In the original movie, uh, Peter Vincent was a TV personality who would show um, his old shitty movies on cable TV, which was awesome and hilarious and just great. But this one is just sad. It's just sad. <laughs> He's a Vegas stage magician. I remember, and I remember everything about this movie and thinking, uh, I'd rather watch the original. 
Because the original, these original ones have like some element of horror. Not necessarily like everything scary, but it's a creepy setting. It's not bright and colorful and fun. It's kind of it's a whole dark movie. Yeah, I mean, it, it really is dark. I mean, even in the original, when um, Peter Vincent runs to Charlie's house when he's at Jerry Dandridge's house, um, you know, he finds he, uh, what is it, um, Evil Ed or Ed in um, Charlie's mother's bed. And he and, and uh, evil's been changed, and he's fucking with Peter, and Peter eventually like stabs him, and there's a whole like transformation scene, and like you know it's really really crazy and horrible and um, pretty messed up, but it's it's a damn good you know damn good movie, love it to death. But the sequel took a shit on you. Or the yeah. remake, excuse me. Well, no, and then and then we're gonna talk about the the Friday, uh, sorry, Fright Night uh, to the remake. Wait, there's a sequel to the remake? Yeah. Um, let's see here. I don't think it came out this year. What was it? It's um It came out like the year after Is it called Fright Night 2 the New Blood? I think that's what it is, yeah. Uh it looks terrible. It came out in 2013. Yeah, um this one <laughs> It has a rating of 1.5. It's available on Crackle for free, so <laughs> even though we can suggest you watch this for free, fans, we're going to say pass it up. Yeah. Um, the, the beginning of it is, I, I swear to God, the beginning of it is just um, somebody, it, it's like at a gas station and somebody is there stopped and and they get sucked or get fucked up or whatever and then the whole gas, gas station goes crazy and gets blown up and uh, it's basically these, like... It's basically a remake to the remake. I shit you not. Well, the only thing I can say is if you're looking for something with tits in it, watch this. Uh, yeah, because uh, I think the English, the the British chick from Dexter is the vampire in this in this movie. Oh, Jamie Murray, she's sexy. Yeah, so like that's a thing, and then like and then Charlie's girlfriend and her like get it on, which is a, like I think that's the only good part of the whole movie. It is. It is. You know, uh, other than that, I mean, it's basically like these kids go to Romania to go on a field trip, and Charlie and Evil Ed are there, and Peter Vincent is a is a shitty paranormal investigator, like one of the ones like on TV with the green like the green night vision camera. And he's like, you know, we're we're in Dracula's castle. Can we can we can we you know is Dracula's go go still here? You know, can we talk to him? Is he you know knock knock on the wall if you hear his Dracula like shit like that. Oh God. Yeah, it's... You, you just disappointed me. You, I mean, this is a video titled "The Worst Horror Films Ever." I just, I'm, oh, I'm emotionally broken right now. But continue. <laughs> you I'm, can hear it in my voice. I'm glad. I'm glad I'm delivering on the shittiest horror movies. <laughs> I, I, I want to go to sleep now, not because I'm tired, but because I live in a world where these things exist and made money. Yeah, I, I mean, th this, this was straight to DVD, so I don't know what the the money is for this. More than we currently have. But that's yeah. We'll, we'll go with that. Um, but I mean, obviously, if it's on Crackle, it's not doing a whole, a whole, uh, not that good. So, <coughs> you heard it moving here on. first, folks. Fuck it. Yeah, moving on. Um, I'm going to let's see what's on the list. Uh, Sinister Two. I wanted to see this in theaters, but then I saw it got a one out of ten rating on IGN, and I skipped it. Yeah, um, you're lucky because I mean the first one I I really liked was was I, solid I, solid movie solid solid movie real good um, creepy as hell I mean the way the way the old footage the way the old like I think it was Super Eight footage played into it for me anyways whenever they showed things like that and they do it correctly it creeps me the fuck out and this and like the first one did that the first one creeped me the fuck out when they showed the old old footage and you know that stuff I think the worst one of the First movie was like the lawnmower footage. I was just about to say that. That Joel and I went to see that movie, and we, we like were like whoa, and we looked at each other, dude. That was fucking scary. Yeah, like yeah, I, I jumped as well, and I was just like, oh fuck that. Uh, but this one, uh, they they play that up way too much, way too much. Um, even the dialogue in this is just so fucking like nobody went over it and was like, oh, okay, this is not good dialogue to put in, and it was just so fucking dumb. Even just the dialogue between. The deputy and the mother or whatever. Like, it's just bad. Um, let me see if I can actually remember what's going on. Yeah, there's a mother, and she's got two kids. One of the kids is, like, trying to get possessed by the fucking ghost. And um, 
he gets taken like downstairs in a basement by the ghost kids and they all show him they all show him what they've done so they all have their own little super 8 reel and I, like it's not even cool anymore because it's like this weird machine that's been invented and it's like it it plays the the super 8 movie along with the record of the music that's going on as well <laughs> like it's really doesn't make sense and all the footage looks shitty like the first thing the first piece of footage you see is cg immediately and it takes you out automatically. And it's, it's encouraging. And it's 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 just like what? No, like it's it, it's basically these people getting it's people, these people who are hung on like a wire, and a crocodile comes up and eats them. But you can tell like it's really really bad, like 1998 CG crocodile. Like it's bad. Has this ever been on Netflix? Because I think I I feel like I've seen this movie. You never know. I didn't go to see it in theaters. But uh, it it sounds familiar. It it probably has honestly. Just because, like, it couldn't make any money on DVD or anything. So I was like, oh, I'll put it on Netflix or Crackle or all free on YouTube because nobody likes it and it sucks. I'm just going to put this out there. If it's if it's never been on Netflix, then I just saw the trailer and I remember all these scenes from the trailer. Yeah, I mean, it's it's really fucking bad. You know, I'm, I, I, I really like the first one. I was like, oh, the second one might be just as good. I have a little bit of hope for it. But no, fuck you. I got one that's kind of controversial, but some people like it and most people don't. Halloween three. <laughs> now, when like when I when I was a kid and I got all the Halloween movies to watch one summer, I, I got I, I got them in like packs of I think four. So I had the first four, and Halloween three was in there. And I shoot you not when I when I watched it, like I watched them all in succession, just kept popping tapes in because I had VHS tapes. And if you don't know what VHS tapes are, um, you're too young for this show. You're too young for this show, and you have Google and look it up. Um, ask your mom or your or your uncle or somebody who's older than you what a VHS tape is, and they'll tell you about the good old days. Um, <laughs> Be kind, rewind. <laughs> exactly. You're going to pay that dollar extra if you don't rewind it. <laughs> That's some bullshit. <laughs> you remember. You fucking remember. You know how it was. <laughs> Fuck you, Blockbuster. I'm glad you're gone. <laughs> oh, man. Anyways... Um, <clears throat> So I had I, I watched I watched them in succession like in, in an afternoon and I got to three and I I, I thought I got the wrong tape because I popped it in and there's nothing there's no Doctor Loomis there's no Michael Myers there's no uh, there's no nothing no, no relation to that at all I was like, what the fuck is this and at that at that point I didn't have you know I don't I don't think I, think I had dial up internet so I had, I had to wait thirty minutes to look anything up um, but I figured out it's like oh okay this is wow this is weird. And I watched it, and I mean, you know, I, over the years I've gotten used to it, and I'm like, I'm okay with it. I'm fine with it. You know, I don't really like it, but it's it's okay. It's definitely misleading. I think it's a cool concept if it wasn't a Halloween sequel. Yeah, if, if it wasn't in if it wasn't in the bunch, um, and just a thing by itself, it would, it would be fine. But to call it, you know, Halloween three season of the witch is very like, what? <laughs> I know they always talk about these terrible remakes, but this would be an okay one to remake with a different title. Like, just a, a similar idea about the whole uh, Sam Hain cult or whatever they are that are trying to kill all the kids on Halloween as a mass sacrifice. That would be a fucking cool premise. Just redo it better and get somebody as cool as Tom Atkins, which is hard to do, but try, and uh, remake it. Yeah, yeah, I, I mean, I agree. I mean, I, I really wouldn't mind if that one was remade. Honestly, I'm, I'm with you on that because that I feel could be done a little bit better these days. You know, with a little bit more technology and maybe you know a little, a little more money. You know. Yeah, because there's a lot of <laughs> in a perfect world, Nick, it would only be Halloween one. <laughs> very true. Very Halloween true. Halloween two is okay in parts, but it's very boring. I've been watching it a lot lately. Yeah, it 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 does it does lag a lot, and there's a lot of like off screen kills, which I'm I'm not a fan of. I mean, I understand like there has to be like one or two, but there are a lot of off screen kills in that movie. The the one that pissed me off is the nurse, because it makes sense that what you would call it, Doctor Richter or Trichter or whatever his fucking name was. It makes sense that he's found by the girl, and then Michael Myers stabs her with the fucking needle and puts an air bubble in her brain. That's fine. But then the uh, Jimmy or what's his face finds the nurse dead. Yeah, Jimmy's drained. Jimmy's Jimmy's the guy from Last Starfighter. Oh, Lance Guest. Yep. It's funny that it's like oh, the movie's got Lance Guest in it, and then you're like, who? 
Oh, Last Starfighter. Okay. I don't, I'm going to catch some heat for this. I don't like that movie. <laughs> I love that movie. I love that movie. The effects are so bad that it they actually are... takes me out of the story. Oh, no, no. I, I love it because the effects are bad. I think I think it was around the same time Tron came out or maybe before or after. It has to be after because Tron's 82. I think Last Starfighter's 84. Let me check. I have to look this up now. All I know is that I remember watching this movie at my aunt and uncle's house, and it looked so weird because it's all the CGI. Yeah, but Last then you Star watch Fire something like, is uh, 84. If you watch something like Star Wars, though, Star Wars looks superior with just the model work, and it would have been better if they used the models, because to me, The Last Starfighter is too dated to enjoy. At least Star Wars looks real. Like, yeah, yeah, I, I agree with you. The Last Starfighter, like, they really, they, they were, like, somebody was like, oh, we have computers, we can make this stuff in the computer now. It's going to take 18 years, but it's fun, we can do it. <laughs> I watched some documentary about the, the process that they used to make the uh, CGI models. It was really interesting. I don't like the movie. I don't like the brown guy that looks like a talking turd. <laughs> or that guy with the bald head, but he's got like the fur on the side of his face or something. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, 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 very, it's very odd. Um, I just, like, I've watched it a lot, and like, I really enjoy it. Um, it's, it's, it's never ever on TV and it's never on anywhere almost. It's very odd. Like you have to find it, either you have to buy it and own it and watch it or you just never find it on TV. Anywhere. Wasn't that directed by Michael Myers himself? Nick Castle? Didn't he direct that? Um, hold on. Cause I thought he turned into a director afterwards. After uh, yeah, Nick on. Castle. Yep. Okay. That guy had a career. <laughs> yeah. Uh, he directed it. That's crazy. Well, it just goes to show you that Michael Myers went on to, you know, do some shit after he murdered his family. Yeah, I mean, you know, just because you murdered your family doesn't mean that you're a bad person. I mean, you, you can do, you know, nice things. Yeah, you can make movies that Jeff hates to watch. Yep, you can do that. <laughs> so, I want to bring up one. I guess this is... Okay, it's a truly bad film, but I enjoy it because it's ironically bad. And you know what? I'm going to do a whole video dedicated to it later in the week. But I just want to bring it up on this list because it deserves its spot. Silent Night, Deadly Night, Part 2. <laughs> and for the layman, this is the film titled Garbage Day! It is a meme that has spawned the internet, or spawned from the internet and spanned the world. It's changed people's lives. It's changed my life. It's, I fucking love this movie for all the wrong reasons. Now, it's terrible. Like, it's really fucking bad. But at the end, when he goes to kill the woman, and he goes, Moo! With an axe. I just... <laughs> Look, I can't do this film justice. You need to go to watch it. I think it's, it used to be on YouTube for free. I don't know. You gotta look it up. It's like 90 minutes of... Okay. It's a 90 minute film, and 47 of those minutes are recap scenes from the first film. And then they filmed a few extra scenes of this guy, Ricky, a.k.a. Eric Foreman. And he's the best worst actor ever. So get your ass onto YouTube, or go buy the DVD. It's like $10. And, uh... Tell me what you think. Yeah, and I mean, if if you already know what this is, and you and you love the movie, and you want something to uh, to show off that you do love the movie, uh, one of our sponsors, Incarnate Studios, has the T-shirt on the website right now that you can buy. Yes, they do, and it's a very good T-shirt. Yeah, it's a good quality shirt, uh, good quality print, um, really, really well done. I recommend if you love this movie, you go buy the shirt and you support us, and by supporting them. <laughs> And it's good to wear on every day, including Garbage Day. Including Garbage Day. Wear it on Laundry Day. Yeah! There's wear... actually an online spoof. <laughs> laundry Day! Huh? No! <laughs> St. Patrick's Day! What? Lee Erickson Day! <laughs> All Saints Day! St. Patrick's Day! Like, you know. There's... <laughs> if it's a day, there's a fucking parody of it. Oh, God, well, I mean, the, there are those weird holidays that, we get, that we're getting now, so... Like, every day is a fucking holiday for something, so. Hey, Nick, what's your opinion of Troll 2? Uh, I couldn't get through it. I really couldn't get through it. I tried it, and it's like, oh, it's funny as hell. It's it's entertaining. It's, it's it's a good, bad movie. No, it's a bad, bad movie. I really tried. I got through about, I think, 15, 20 minutes of it, and I was like, I can't do this anymore. I just can't. Yeah, it's fucking really stupid. I've seen it one and a half times. The first time, I watched it with my mom, because... Uh, we were watching Netflix, and then I watched the documentary Best Worst Film, and she liked it, and she's like, man, I'd love to see this movie. And I was like, hey, it's on YouTube, or it's on Netflix, so we watched it, and she's like, oh, this is terrible. And I thought it was terrible. And then, a couple years later, I tried to show my friends, and I tried to show Dion the movie, and uh, he's like, he fell asleep. 
<laughs> so I just gave up and I went to sleep. Man. Yeah, I mean, like I tried watching because I, I watched a documentary like you did, and I was like, oh, I'm gonna see how bad this really is. Oh fuck, it's horrible. Oh god. It's not even fun bad like the room. It's just really long. Oh, yeah, I mean, yeah, the room is is fun bad. I mean, even a movie that's really that's really a good bad movie is uh, Pieces as well. Um, but that'll be another another day of October Fest where we go over good bad movies. Oh, I like that. Yep. What else you got? I got tons of stuff. Do you want do you want to keep going? Sure. This will be a little longer. People say they like our long form videos. Some days of Schlocktoberfest are longer than the others. Yep. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. Uh, Poltergeist remake. I, that's one of the why? two movies I walked out of the theater. Why? Why it's was stupid. this? Why was this a thing that needed to happen? Um, what the fuck, people? My cousin and I went to see. We went to this thing called the Taste of Cincinnati, which is a, a food festival. And then we went. We were gonna go see Poltergeist, and then for some reason we went and got pizza, and then we went to, over to see this movie, and we were both like falling asleep and like this movie sucks. So we just left. It's one of the two movies I've ever done that in. Uh, Sam Rockwell's decent, but Poltergeist doesn't need to be remade. It was great the way it is. Yeah, I mean, I, I really, really do love Sam Rockwell. He's an amazing actor, uh, very good at what he does. Um, I think that was I think that was the pull for this movie is having him in here. Uh, that didn't pull me in enough to like it or care about it or even give it, you know, a fucking second thought. I absolutely hated his fucking kids. Oh, God. I, it, the weird thing was that the little girl looked like the original little girl, which freaked me the fuck out. That's the only reason she got hired. Yeah. <laughs> and I didn't like the whole subplot about them being broke and having to struggle with, you know, finding a house and all that shit. Yeah. It basically makes like a... It's a whole other movie that they're making, and they're just slapping Poltergeist on. Well, even then, yeah, the you know the the old woman that comes to the house, and she's like, you know, this this house is clear. Um, it wasn't in there. It's like this old, like grizzled English guy who's been scarred up. He's like, I've seen some shit, son. You know, and it's it just I didn't like it. I didn't like it. There, there's a part there uh, where the kid takes his drone into like you know the ghost realm, and you know it spins around, and it's basically a a, a mock-up of the of the house they're in, but, you know, in another dimension or in the ghost world. And all you see are, like, these skeletons and things, like, crawling over the walls and shit. And it's like, why are you doing this? This was never shown in the original movie. Why are you showing it now? And it looked CG and fake, and it didn't help anything. It was just like, oh, okay, this is whatever. You know? It was it was, it was was dumb, man. I, I didn't like anything that I saw. Uh, I like the original Poltergeist. It's one of my favorite... Yeah, it's one of my favorite horror movies. I, I own it. it. I've watched it dozens of times. Yeah, no, no. Poltergeist. Uh, Poltergeist. I think Poltergeist Two is a little scarier because of the old man. I've never seen the number two, even oh. though I own it. Uh, it. You need to watch it. The old man is fucking creepy. Well, I know what to do during breakfast tomorrow. Maybe I'll, uh, I'll make some bacon and I will watch Poltergeist Two. That's not a good idea because this one. Oh man, like even. <sighs> And, 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 like, I know in the first one they had, uh, what is it, like, they, they had one of the paranormal guys who came into the first one, and he ripped his face off while he was in, in the bathroom. Yeah, that part was awesome. That's, like, the most iconic scene of that whole film. Okay, they, they do a, they, they don't even do a nod at this one. They don't even do a nod in this one. They do, like, some weird, like, they do this, like, really shitty reflection thing in the faucet. Of, uh, like, things are leaking, like, black stuff is coming out of, like, Sam Rockwell's orifices, like, the corners of his eyes and his mouth and his nose, and it's all black and gooey, and he's like, oh my god, what's going on? And then, like, it disappears immediately. Yeah, that's some pussy shit. And Come I'm on, just like, people. I know it's PD-13, and I know, you know, it, you're, you're trying to make money, but you're doing it wrong, and why even, let's just make another movie that's not called Poltergeist, that is nowhere near this, and just, you know, whatever. I don't, fuck you, Hollywood. Fuck you. I agree 100%, man. 100% fuck Hollywood. I mean, we're, you know, after we covered on World Quest Bullshitters the other day, the fucking live-action Disney remakes, I don't know where else they can go but down. And, I mean, that's... that's I'm, Well, I mean, they've been up for a while. They have been up for a very long time. So, I mean, you gotta go down after that. Yep, and, you know, originality's truly dead. But, you know, let's keep going on our list of shit. <laughs> There's this one uh, independent movie I have on here. Uh, it's called The Final Girls. That's on Netflix, I think. It, yeah, it's, it's on Netflix, or it was on Netflix. Uh, once again, good trailer, good poster, good premise. 
from what I saw in the trailer, and I was very excited to watch this movie because it's like this old school horror movie that you know is coming coming back after a while, and um, it's it's kind of like horror the horror this horror like a slash movie meets meets, meets lacks uh, last action hero. I can't fucking talk. Um, because what happens is is that uh, these kids go into the theater to see this old movie. Um, but the subplot, the subplot before that is like you know the girl, the the girl who this movie is following, um, her mom died in a car crash and she was trying to be an actor because she'd done this horror movie that they're watching uh, years ago and then her mom dies in a car crash and uh, they're trying to get this girl at at the movie to come talk about it and do a Q and A and then something happens in the movie I think somebody drops a bottle of Everclear because that's something you bring to a movie is a bottle of Everclear. I guess you've never been to a movie with me. <laughs> well, I guess I need to then. Um, so that you really fucking did. <laughs> so the effort clear drops on the floor, and then somebody like sparks a fucking joint or a cigarette or whatever. Sparks, you know, hit the liquid, and everything kind of blows up, and they get blasted into the movie, and they're in the movie now. You know, and um, that's fine, but they keep harking on this girl's mom. The whole fucking time. And it's just like, oh, I haven't seen my mom in years. She's dead, but she's a character in this movie that I'm in right now. And it's playing through. Oh, my God. And that was... It was so... Like, it had it not had that element, it would have been so fucking good. But it kept being, like, this, this like little girl missing her mother kind of thing. And it's like... I get that, but don't put this in this movie. The way you've done... The way, I mean, you've done this 80s slasher... Like there, these kids from like 2016 or 2015, whatever the hell has come out, are in a 1980s slasher movie. In that, in in a summer camp with a killer, and you have this whole premise of like, oh, I need to go see my mom. Where is she? Oh my god, fuck you, fuck you. Make two separate movies. Don't do that. I'm looking at the cast for this thing. It's a really solid cast. It's a bunch of relatively big names. It's not... You know, Malin Ackerman's fucking in Watchmen. She's in Harold and Kumar go to White Castle. Yeah, yeah, she's, she's the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. She, she's the mom. Well, I guess you kind of need an anchor. I can't believe she's an anchor in a movie. Yeah, she's the anchor, and I mean... It, just having that whole mom thing and, you know, I just didn't like it. I didn't like that aspect of it. Had it been like, okay, we're stuck in this movie, how do we get out? Oh, yeah, the guy who knows everything, we'll, we'll talk to him about it. And then he died. Like, I like the fact that he died, like, in the beginning of them going through the movie. And then all the other people, all the other cast are stuck where they are. So they had to kind of, like, feel their way through. But it still was like, you know, oh, I need to spend time with my mom. My mom's here, and I, she's an actor here, blah, 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 blah. And, um, yeah, so that was the thing that happened, and I just didn't like that at all. At least it's got some decent 80s music in it. It does. Um, it's, I mean, for the most part, it's, it's somewhat, it's somewhat pretty good. It's just that whole, like, that, that thing just kept, like, coming up at the most inopportune times, and I just didn't like it, and it drew away from the whole movie and, you know, what was going on, and I just, I fucking hated it, that's why. Tell us how you really feel, Nick. It's dumb. I mean, you have such a good premise, and it was such a weird, original idea for a movie, and you fuck it up. You know? Would you like to talk about how dumb Most Likely to Die is? Oh my god, most, yes, please let's talk about Most Likely to Die. Oh, let me pull it up real quick. Oh my god. So I watched this the other day on Netflix, because Nick said, oh, I saw this terrible movie called Most Likely to Die, don't anybody watch it. So, of course, what I do is I go watch it. And it starts out with a really beautiful blonde girl in a house. You know, she's looking around it. Apparently, it's some former athlete's house. And she's trying to get laid. And then all of a sudden, this dude starts chasing her down a fucking road. And she gets murdered. And her body is left there. And then all these other people from high school show up. And they're here for a reunion. And they find her body, and they start getting picked off one by one, and it's hackneyed and boring and stupid, and it, it truly deserves to be among the uh, lowest of the low on Netflix, and that's saying a lot. Well, that... There's a film on Netflix where a woman fucks a wolf. <laughs> well, I mean, you know, like, I, I, don't mind, I don't mind shitty, I don't mind shitty horror movies. I mean, that's fine. I get it, all right? But at least put some love into it, man. This one is just 
Oh, there's nothing put into this at all. It's just bad. It's just fucking horrible. And the only claim to fame in this fucking movie, to give you an idea, is Perez Hilton. Ugh. I, I, he couldn't even act his way out of a paper bag. He was the worst actor in that film. Yeah, but he's the most notable name. He's the uh, you know he's you know the one that may may have brought in like you know two or three bucks to the movie. So it was oh man. All I can tell you is uh, that blonde girl was so sexy in the beginning, the one that got murdered. Yeah. Well, <laughs> why would you why would you kill the sexy blonde in the beginning? At least wait for her to get drunk, has a have a lesbian encounter in the hot tub, and then kill them both. I I want to. Say though, my truly favorite character was Jake Busey. Jake, B- Jake Busey. He was, because one, I've met Jake Busey, and he's not a piece of shit, and his dad's a really nice guy. And two, he is doing what I'd do—not spit tobacco, but fucking drink a beer and watch hot chicks get naked. That's how I want to spend the rest of my di- uh, days. You know, once world class bullshit is successful, that's all I'm gonna do is get really wasted and uh, look at hot girls. Sounds, sounds like a plan, man. Sounds like a plan. But yeah, the movie fucking sucks. <laughs> yeah, it's bad. Um, it's 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 the kills aren't original. Um, nothing's original about this. It's not even. Uh, it's just bad. Just just bad. Yeah, there's. I mean, there's a level of fun that comes with bad horror movies. Like A Night on Elm Street Two is a bad movie. But at least there are some fun parts to it, like where Freddy Krueger uh, literally comes out of the guy. Yeah. Or when he uh, jumps up and starts coming to people, you are all my children. There are cool, fun parts. That movie, nothing. Yeah, there's another uh, good bad movie. What is it? Humanoids from the Deep that I sent you. And it's literally, there's a literally a mutant frog person fucking a woman on a beach. Well, that's up for an Oscar, in my opinion. Like, <laughs> We don't get enough uh, quality art in movies, cinema verite, if you will. Very true. We need, we need more auteurs like the man who created said frog fucking film, as opposed to people like Gus Van Sant. Uh, I think it was uh, Roger Corman who, who did that movie. Roger Corman, you, sir, are an icon. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, my God. This movie, it's on Netflix currently. Just go watch it. Seriously, it's... It's so dumb. It's not even. It's not even fun. Dumb. It's boring. Dumb. The only decent part, besides the sexy blonde, is where the uh, black dude's fucking the white girl, and then the black guy gets murdered. Not because he had sex with a white woman, but because he gets killed in the most gruesome fucking way. He gets his face slashed with a fucking razor blade, and then a hockey stick gets shoved down his throat. Oh yeah, I remember that one. Yeah. That was the only good death. <laughs> only good death. Yeah, that was, uh, yeah. That's it. Let's see, uh, what else do I have? Uh, okay, I got, uh, I got one. It's a VHS viral. This is the... I haven't seen that one, I don't think. This is the third installment in the VHS, um, I guess, franchise, if you would call it that. Um, this one, I guess Hollywood took it and made it, made it all professional and things like that and not, and less shitty, and they fucked it up real bad. He had only made two thousand seven hundred and fifty-six dollars U.S. according to uh, Google. Yeah, well, there's a reason for that. I mean, the, like, I, I love the first two. The first two are are like Creepshow one and two for me. Like, they're they're good. They're watchable. I love them. They're rewatchable. Um, they're they're just good. I really do enjoy them. This one is like Creepshow three, where it's just like, what the fuck were you thinking? Why did you make this? Just why? That's the only question I have. Just why? Oh. We should talk about the first VHS later, because that movie was fucking awesome. Don't, don't you wear that t-shirt all the time? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I like you. Yeah, yes, I love that shirt. <laughs> Didn't you give me a shirt from one of those movies? I think I did. I really... You gave me... I think you might have given me a shirt. I did. Anyway. <laughs> because I didn't want the, it, and you, you wanted it, so, yeah. The, the fucking I like you girl's cute and scary. <laughs> that's, how I, that's how I like my women. Cute and scary. I like my women nice, and then they're not gonna bite my dick off. So I don't know. I like I, I, I like I like rolling the dice. You, you never know what's gonna happen. You know, you gotta you gotta play you gotta, you gotta play by ear. You don't know what's you know don't know, don't know what's gonna happen. Sometimes I'm looking for a sure thing in life, and I'm looking for a lady that's not gonna bite my wiener off. True, true, <laughs> true. But I mean, what what if she was just gonna bite your wiener? I mean, are you into that? Like, what's you know your stance on on like, wiener biting? Uh, 
I'd like to keep it to a minimum because I've experienced a lot of teeth scraping and that's not fun. So I don't want to. I don't want to amplify that pain. <laughs> it's good being, to know. I'm being honest. I'm being honest. Oh god. Yeah, I didn't like Vietnam for Out because like the first the first one you see is this like magician horror movie thing that that's happening. Which I mean I've seen the, like a lot of shorts like that on um Tales from the Crypt and things, but this one was just not done like really well or really good. Um it wasn't horrifying at all. It was basically like this guy inherited this cape or found it somewhere and he was like this trailer park guy who liked magic and the the cape to keep to keep him powered up or it powered he had to like feed it things like feed it people <laughs> that sounds fucking retarded so <laughs> there's a part where his girlfriend at, at the time that he's doing this is in the shower and he like just puts the cape in there and it fucking it, it devours her you know it's just like what <laughs> i'm gonna pass on this one. Oh man it's it almost makes it sound like holidays is a better anthology film oh um <laughs> I, uh, I, they're both equally really bad. It's, uh, jeez. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's not good. It's not, uh, just don't watch it. You want to watch good anthology, watch Creepshow 1 and 2, watch, uh, the two, the first two VHS movies. Don't watch this one. It's just bad. I, I'm going to say watch, this is a controversial choice, but Tales from the Dark Side of the movie. I like that movie a lot. I have never seen that. I've heard good things though. And also watch Cat's Eye. That's a great one. Cat's Eye. Uh, isn't it a Stephen King book? Yep, it's got Drew Barrymore in it. Oh, nice. Yeah, we'll talk. You know what, Nick? We'll do a, an anthology movie list later. How's ooh, that? ooh, ooh, ooh! I like that. I like that. So let's close out with a few more of these terrible, terrible films before I, you know, go postal and jump out the fucking window. Oh, please, Jeff, don't do that. It's okay if I did, I would only hurt my leg because my house isn't that big. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, let's see. What else do I have? We're getting we're getting down on the list now. Well, I can't do I can't do um, anything Rob Zombie does because everything he touches like turns to shit and is is shit. Um, let's see. I agree. Uh, Insidious three. Now uh, I was I'm a big fan of the Insidious uh, movies. Uh, the first two were literally back to back, uh, one after the other. Very good, very well put together. Uh, but for some reason, um, three they had to do a fucking prequel to. So I hated number two. That was a terrible movie. I, I mean, I, I I really I really really did love it because it was just like a a, a very it was just one after the other and. You know, it started immediately after the after the first one ended, and they did really good with it. I loved it. Um, the third one shit the bed because it's they don't they don't even continue the story. I know the woman died or whatever, and the paranormal team is broken up, so they had to go back to the beginning to where they were all back together and shit, and they were going after some other case, or sorry, their first case. So it's it's whatever. Um, this little girl's possessed by something in the house. Um, because her dad is a single dad, and they moved there, and um, it takes her over and slowly kills her. Lynn Shay's in this one. Oh, of course. Um, and uh, you see the, the the two paranormal guys from the first movie, first two movies come in. Um, and it's not. I mean, it's not even. It's not even horrifying because I think I, I don't know. Maybe because maybe because I've seen the first. Two and I'm kind of used to it, but this one was just like not scary at all, not horrifying at all. There were a lot of dumb, really dumb jump scares, but nothing that really like was terrifying. It was all just like, oh, okay, you're you're jumping there. That's that's kind of cute, you know. You should be very happy to see this movie because it stars Dermot Mulroney. <laughs> Good friends of the fucking Cohen brothers. Uh, he's actually a really bad actor yeah that's why he only does like one Hollywood movie every ten years um <laughs> well to be fair he did Insidious 3 and then he also did The Grey oh The Grey wow that's not any, any better well he was also in about he's been in terrible he's in Dirty Grandpa oh god I'm sure he's there for like a second 
I saw that movie in theater. Wow, that's going to be on my list of worst movies of 2016. Jeez, I haven't seen that at all. Ugh. Well, it's a horrible movie that's terrible. These are. We need one more film, Nick, to close us out on a terrible horror film. Ooh, alright, I'm going to go Dracula Untold. Oh, is that the one that played the fucking uh, Smell Like Teen Spirit song in slow motion in the trailer or whatever? The one that's like him fighting the armies? <laughs> yeah, 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 that's <laughs> that looked terrible, like beyond terrible. I didn't see it. Uh, I did because at the time I was reviewing it for something else, and it was just it was a bad idea. Um, it, it, this was supposed to be Universal's like big jump off for their uh, Monster Universe, I think, uh, and it didn't hold weight. It didn't hold anything. It you know it was just it was just dumb, and they were to- they were trying to tell. The story of, uh, I guess, Vlad and him being a good guy and, you know, taking care of his people and his family. But, oh, no, he turns to the dark side and gets sucked on by Dracula. Or, sorry, gets sucked on by a vampire and then becomes Dracula. And um, even then, like, it, this change is very is very subtle and he can only be in, he can be in the sun a little bit and kind of burn. Um, and you know he's he's got the thirst, and he and he, once he once he takes one drop of blood, that he becomes you know full on vampire. And it was just it was so dumb because you know he, the 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 uh, enemy's forces are coming it's uh, coming at him at some point. And he turns into bats and fucking kills them, or turns them into vampires or something. I don't fucking know. Um, it was just dumb, and even, even at the end, they alluded to like you know him living forever and being this guy in a big city and you know there's going to be a part two or something like that but that never fucking happened I didn't want to see it and I won't watch it so I'm not trying to discredit anyone else who enjoys it yes I am it looks stupid yeah it was it was not good not worth the time and money they put into it I mean if they're going to do once again, the idea that you and me have for the whole Universal Monster thing is a trillion dollar idea. Universal, please call us. We have an idea. We're willing to make a deal. Um, Fuck yeah, we are. Yeah, so give us a call. We, we, we got you. Um, but their idea of this whole thing is not... They're going to like the very, the very, very like base story of all this stuff. And nobody wants that. Nobody wants to hear... Nobody wants a full-on... You know, documentary about you know the creature from the Black Lagoon or Frankenstein or the Wolfman or Dracula. Just give us like the good shit and just move on. It's Hollywood, dude. They're not going to give us good shit. They're just going to give us shit, and people are going to eat it up because horror fans are desperate. And it just goes to show you, a lot of the films we talked about, no matter how good or bad, you got an audience. Yeah, I mean, I'd ready the numbers. I mean, I'll, I'll even do it for uh, Dracula Untold. Uh, budget seventy million, box office two hundred and seventeen. Jesus, I thought that movie was going to be a flop. Uh, it made money. Uh, the, the, apparently, there's still talks about a possible sequel, but I mean, it's it's been a while. Let's see, it came out in twenty fourteen. That's been two years, so. I mean, what are they going to do? One another? They're going to make one another two years? I mean, the people are going to forget about it, man. Come on. I already forgot about it. I don't know what you're talking about anymore. Neither do I, so that's the perfect way to end this episode. <laughs> this has been day insert number here of Schlocktoberfest on World Class Bullshitters. We'll be back tomorrow with more, and uh, expect a- another drunk commentary podcast of a great film that I want you to be surprised for, but it stars... The kid that played Rusty Griswold number two, and that's all the hint I'm going to give you. And uh, Dion will be there, Nick will be there, I will be there, and there will be a ton of booze. And I'm talking, I got a bunch of seasonal beers to crack open, so I might get blackout drunk and puke on air again. So if that's your thing, if that's what you get off on, come back.